Hello, everyone. This is your favorite Murtad with Bruce Lee. Yes. <laughs> yes. By, the, by the way, brother, let me highly encourage you. Make your introductions longer than they are. They're not long enough. Make them like about an hour long. Then I think that would be perfect because I don't think they're long enough. These 48 second introductions, I don't think they're long enough. What do you think? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you I, 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 light or is this enough lighting? Uh, lighting is good. Perfect for me, at least. And why like this, man? I got to paint the walls because it's white is not the most. In fact, if you go to a psych ward, and I know this because a Protestant believer, he spent many years in a psych ward. They'll tell you that the walls are all white in a psych ward. I don't know huh. why. It is. Yeah, so, but he knows. So a Protestant believer, why is it in the psych ward that you spent like five years in? All the walls there are white. <laughs> Oh, oh, Protestant believer, sorry, brother. But yeah, so perfect timing to join in, by the way. Just before we go on, I've noticed because I'm watching on YouTube, even though there's like a 20 second delay, for some reason, like for a second or two, my camera, my I'm freezing. I don't know why. See, I'm freezing again. I don't know why this is. This happened not only on your stream yard, it happened with someone else's stream yard. I was on their stream yard and it would like for a second or two, I'd freeze. Interesting. Maybe your internet is not strong enough. Dude, come on. I had Rob Christian on my stream yard. Perfect connection. I go on my uh, channel. Perfect connection. So you're blaming me for your stream yard issues. What's wrong with you? Okay. So probably it's my stream yard issue. How, how can we rectify it? I literally have no idea. Let me see if I can reduce the... By the way, this guy, Abrar bin Ekran, he's actually a Mohammedan slut, a satanic whore, who came on my Facebook channel and was bribing me, paying me money to talk about Eastern Orthodox. Says he thinks I'm a spiritual whore like him and that I'm for sale. Abrar bin Ekran, he's like Muhammad, that dirty satanic bastard, the whore who's burning in hell. Thank the Lord Jesus, he's dead and buried in hell. And that's where this dog will go if he doesn't repent. But anyway, go ahead. Amen. Uh, brother, I can't see anything which can cause this on my side uh, in this okay. yard. Guys, hopefully pray that the connection stays strong and that I don't freeze for a second or two because, see, I just froze again. See, there we go. Yeah, there's a small kind of a glitch that is happening. Yes, you're right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what why that is. Is it? Let's just make sure it's not disturbing them. Are you guys... Is the glitch causing a long delay? See, here it is glitched again. See, yeah, I don't know, bro. So I don't know. It's up to you. I'll ask them to see because if the glitch is going to be a problem. So I said, but you wanted attention. I said, you want to go on my YouTube channel? No, it's got to be your YouTube channel because, you know, it's all about you. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm listening to your voice on the, uh, on the, on my phone as well, and it seems that the voice is good. Yeah, see, here it's I glitch. So I glitched again. So as long as my audio is clear, even though my image is glitching for a second or two. Okay, guys, just confirm to us, because see here, I glitched again. See, I keep seeing it. I'm watching on YouTube, and I keep seeing there's a one or two second glitch where I freeze. As long as my audio is not being interrupted, let me know if my audio is good. There is no interruption to my audio. Please let me know. Make sure there is no interruption in my audio. Ask the Lord Jesus to bless the connection, to destroy attacks of Satan, because Satan wants to disrupt me. And I do think I may have a mild form of OCD. I really do. I mean, it's not joking aside. I do think there are some OCD issues that I struggle with. But if it's good, and the sound quality is good, and there's no glitch, or if the glitch is not interrupting my sound quality, okay, so good. They said we're not glitching. All right. But then glory to Jesus, we'll focus, and we will we will continue because we're here to serve you. But Satan knows how to disturb me. Satan knows how to distract me. He knows my OCD issues. And I say that with sincerity. I do think I have a mild form of OCD because there's some things that trigger me. Like, for example, Protestant believer's face triggers me. Adam Seeker's voice triggers me. <laughs> are we ready, man? So many things, right? Yeah. But are we ready? Oh, yes, sir. 
Okay. Well, I got a lot of links to give you. Then we'll pray and we'll begin. But I got a lot of links. I'm going to put them in the private chat so you can post them. But one thing so that when people come to watch this session so they can have access to the links, you can put them in the description box. So here are the links because all the material we're covering, you'll find it in the article. Some of these articles are over 10 years old. That's how old the information is. But again, we live at a time people don't like to read anymore. So here, let's start. You ready, brother? Yes, sir. Here are, here are the links. And by the way, Protestant believer, Lord Jesus willing, if the Lord wills, everything goes smooth, the internet stays strong. When I'm done with this session, I'll be going live about a half hour afterwards on my channel to talk about something else. Here's the first article, brother, from Different Mother. Got it. You got that one? Yep. Here is the second article. There's a lot of them, so hopefully you don't lose track. Second article, article number two. Got it. All right. All right, hold on. Let me find it because I, I lose track. You know, hold on. All right. Here is article number three. You ready? Yeah. Third article. You have my permission. Take my stuff, translate them, upload them, make clips out of them. You don't need to ask me. That's article number three. A lot of articles. Article number four. Now, this is an article written by an apostate, a murtad, second favorite murtad. Your first favorite is Adam Seeker and his dreams. Abdul Qudus he used to be a Salafi Muslim, converted to Salafi Islam, who left Islam years ago. Last time I heard, this was like about 10 years ago, he was an agnostic slash atheist. I hope now he's come to worship the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. This is an article from his WordPress that I uploaded to my channel just in case his <clears throat> channel becomes the fun because a lot of great material <clears throat> is erased from the internet because the people that have these websites discontinue the websites, their blogs and their WordPresses. They just discontinue it, let it expire, and all this material is gone. So I decided to upload this article so we can have it per perpetuity. So this is article number four from Abdul Qudus. I hope now he, he has come to worship the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope so. Now couple more, brother. I know you're impatient. Like, okay, this is a two-part article where I show the eloquence of the Quran proves that there are multiple gods in Islam and that Allah is a multiple person because they say the Quran, the Arabic Quran, perfect eloquence, unmatchable, inimitable, inimitable, incomparable because it's a speech of Allah. Allah speaks perfectly with perfect eloquence. Well, the perfectly eloquent Quran it is composed in such a way where you end up having multiple Allahs, multiple ilahs, multiple gods, or proves that Allah is multiple persons. Take beer! Corona! Take beer! Heineken! <laughs> Wait, it's a two-part article. Are you laughing at me or with me, brother? With you, with you. Okay, well, I have to laugh first for you to laugh. Oh, okay. Okay, no taqiyya here. All right, anyway. That is the fifth article. All right, sixth article. This is a two-parter. Six articles so far. A meat fest. To use, to absorb, to understand. But make sure, please, I got one more. Please ask the Lord Jesus to help you by his spirit. You have to understand our arguments correctly so that when you share them, you will share them correctly because I have caught several people in the past months, years, and just recently, a couple of weeks, where they misunderstood what I said, misheard what I said, and then went and misrepresented and misinterpreted what I said to their shame. And one person even slandered me because of her stupidity and ignorance because she misheard me. We will give an answer to the Lord Jesus for how we live, how we speak, what we say, and what we do. Ask the Spirit to help you understand this information because if you don't understand it correctly, then you're going to mislead people with your misunderstanding. And then if you don't understand the argument correctly, you won't be able to present it as clearly and forcefully because if you understand the arguments, I promise you, it's because of the power of the Holy Spirit. They, they are irrefutable. It can't be refuted. You'll be a nightmare to Islam, bringing glory to Jesus by the power of the Spirit. But you have to understand the arguments. If you don't, hasta la vista, baby. Final article. Article number seven. Are you ready? Yep. My less than handsome Murtad friend. You I ready? Am perfectly ready, yeah. as handsome as I am. Okay, so here it is, the seventh article. And Lord willing, 
I'll upload this with his permission to my channel to get people aware of this session and his channel because if I'm trying to get more traffic to these YouTube channels, get more subscribers for these brothers and sisters. Not all of us can be apostate prophet or David Wood where we got hundreds of thousands of subscribers. And when they do a live stream, as boring as it is, they get over a thousand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why, why is this world so cruel? There is the seventh article. Why is this world so cruel? Why is it hideously ugly people who are boring as pits, who make Adam Seeker sound eloquent, get over a thousand people for the live streams and th hundreds of thousands of subscribers. I mean, you don't get uglier than David Wynn and, and Apostate Private. My goodness. <laughs> Darn it. All right. Anyway, may the Lord Jesus be glorified. May the Lord Jesus shine through us. Lord Jesus, we ask you to take over this session for your glory. I know my brother Adam and myself by the power of your Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, we ask. You wash all of us in your holy blood, Lord Jesus. Make us whole by the power of the blood of your cross, Lord Jesus. Feed us, Lord Jesus. Nourish us, Lord Jesus, spiritually, emotionally, psychologically, physically. And by the power of your Holy Spirit, save us from Satan, his temptations, his children, from blasphemers, and save us from our own sinful lusts. And Lord Jesus, we ask, guide us to speak the truth perfectly. Convict Muslims. <clears throat> Pierce their hearts by your spirit to see that Islam is a lie. All of the Quran is a lie. Muhammad is the son of the devil. And that you, the Lord Jesus, son of God, the Christ of the New Testament, who is the Jesus of history, you are their only hope of salvation. Bring them as you brought Adam, Seeker, and other Muslims to your feet, Lord Jesus. And save us from stammering, error, confusion. And bless the internet connection, Lord Jesus. And help me not to be a nuisance to my neighbors. Have your way with this session. Have your way with our lives. You own us. And we love you, Lord Jesus. Have your way with our loved ones, my daughters. And cover us. Cover them by your blood, Son of God, the Father's heart, the eternal companion spirit. We love you, Lord Jesus. It's in your name. In the name of Jesus, we ask. Amen. 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 You got it now? Hallelujah. Yes, brother. We are okay, all man. ready. My, le my least favorite, Murtad. Uh, no, come on, man. No, that, was, uh, that was Abdul Qudus. I'm not talking about you, man. Oh, okay, okay. That's good. Okay, you're my second least favorite. Okay, are we ready? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Just so we can give them an idea of what we're doing. We're going to show from the Quran. The Arabic will be here, so he'll confirm. This is what the Arabic says. That the structure of the Quran, Quran the grammar of the Quran, <clears throat> The design and style of the Quran proves that Allah exists as a multi-personal being. There are multiple persons who are Allah and or there are multiple gods so that Islam does not teach Tawheed. The Quran destroys Tawheed. So we're going to get into that. And we're going to start with the most basic one. Surat al-Fatiha. We're going to start with that. So brother, if you want to get your Quran ready and so people understand... Yes, what sir, I am. All right, yes. so get it open for, for us by the grace of God. Surah Al-Fatiha. May the Lord Jesus beatify us with his beauty in Jesus' name. When you see me wear a Bruce Lee shirt, you know it's game over. When oh, you yes. see me, Bruce Lee, you know someone's going to get hurt. Spiritually. We spiritually destroy arguments. We spiritually submit people. We spiritually subjugate people and bring them to the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ. So let's go. Let's go, let's go. Now, before he reads the surah, member Sunni Islam, and you'll find the citations in the articles. Sunni Islam, what they call, and by the way, the Arabic language is a beautiful language. It is sad and unfortunate that this false prophet stole this language and made it part and parcel of a satanic antichrist system. But the Lord Jesus created all peoples, all languages to worship him. May the Lord Jesus redeem Arabic for his glory because he created Arabic as a tongue to be used to glorify Jesus, not Allah or his fake messenger. Lord Jesus, redeem this language for your praise and use us to <clears throat> sanctify this Arabic language by your spirit so we can use this language in all languages to worship you, the Son of God, our Lord and Savior. Okay. The view of Ahl al-Sunnah wa Jama'ah. Can you say that five times fast? Ahlil Sunnah wa Jama, brother. You like that? You like my Arabic, man? Alam you like my Arabic? <laughs> but you like my Arabic, man? Oh, yes. Love it. Okay. 
according to Sunni Islam, the Quran is the speech of Allah, Kalam Allah, and Kalam speech is one of the sifat. It's a sifah of Allah. What does that mean? It's one of his characteristics. And Sunni Islam teaches that Allah has always existed. Eternally existed with all his characteristics. And one of the attributes, characteristics that Allah, Allah has always possessed is speech. So the speech of Allah cannot be created. Because if you say Allah created a speech, that means Allah was a mute deity who had to acquire the ability and the characteristic of speech, which Sunni Islam would say is blasphemy. Because Allah is perfect, self-contained, needs nothing. So Allah has always existed with his attribute of speech. This is why they say the Quran, being Allah's speech, has always existed. It is uncreated, beginningless, because it's one of Allah's uncreated attributes. Keep that in mind. This is the position and belief of Ahlul Sunnah wa Jama, meaning the Sunni Muslims, right? And now Adam Seeker gave you a link to Islam QA. Islam QA, this is a renowned Salafi website run by one of the world's leading Salafi scholars. So keep that in mind. Because that means every surah. See, here he goes. Can you can you highlight that part again? You did it. Every surah, chapter of the Quran, every verse of the Quran is uncreated. Beginningless, eternal. So that means Surah Al-Fatiha, the first chapter, is eternal, uncreated. This chapter, not saying it existed as a chapter, but those words have always existed. No beginning, no ending to them. And here it is. All the, of the attributes of Allah, may he be exalted, are uncreated. They are eternal with no beginning. The words of Allah are among these attributes. And that includes the Quran. Therefore, scholars said that the Quran is not created because it is the words of Allah, and that is one of his attributes. Alhamdulillah, Allah as with hair gel. Allah as with gel. What are you laughing at, man? With the hair gel? I really want to see Allah with hair gel, man. <laughs> Brother, you don't understand. The word aswa gel, that's actually English masquerading as Arabic. It means as with gel. You know how people use hair gel? Because remember, Allah has a shin. And he's going to lay bare the shin on the day of resurrection. Yom al -Qiyama. And I suspect that's why he uses gel. So that if he has hair on his shin. Because remember, we Middle Easterners, Arabs, were kind of hairy. Even the shin. So this is why it's Allah as with gel. Because he uses hair gel for his shin. His hairy shin. <laughs> Stop it. Okay. Now that's us go back to Surah Al-Fatiha. All right. You ready? Yep. Let me just change the screen. There okay. Now, guys, he's going to read the seven verses. Read it for us. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Uh, English and Arabic both, or only English? No, it's English. Now. I'll tell you when we need the Arabic. Okay. Praises due to Allah, Lord of the worlds, the entirely merciful, the specially merciful. Okay. Uh, sovereign of the day of recompense. It is you we worship, you we ask for help. Guide us to the straight path, the path of those whom, upon whom you have bestowed favor, not of those who have earned your anger or those who are astray. Full stop. Okay, now, remember, this is a prayer that's uncreated, beginningless. Uncreated, beginningless. So, first question. If this is a prayer that is uncreated, beginningless, it's always existed. A prayer assumes a prayee, someone who prays it. So my first challenge to Muslims. Who was praying Surah Al-Fatiha before creation? Who was praying Surah Al-Fatiha before creation? This is why in Sunni Ahadith, Abdullah ibn Masood did not recognize Surah Al-Fatiha, chapter 1, as part of the Quran. Because Abdullah ibn Masood said it is a prayer. As such, it's not Quran. It's a prayer. It's a dua, along with chapters 113, 114. Now, if you guys don't know this, and I'm sure Adam Seeker has done sessions on this, but mm -hmm. according to Sunni tradition, Abdullah ibn Masood, his Quran had only 111 chapters. Now, why is that important? Because there is a hadith, hadith in Bukhari Muslim, 
where when Muhammad said, learn the Quran from four, he said, there are four people you need to learn the Quran from. Four people. He started with Abdullah ibn Masood. And then he also mentioned Ubay, Ubay ibn Kaab. Two of the four Muslims named by Muhammad that <clears throat> Muslims were to take the Quran from, Abdullah ibn Masood, Ubay, Ubay ibn Kaab, and these two men who memorized Quran directly from Muhammad, who knew Muhammad personally, could not agree whether the Quran only had 111 chapters, surahs, or 116, because in Ubay ibn Kaab, he had 116 surahs. Yes. Abdullah ibn Masood, on the other hand, had 111, but the Uthmani Quran, the Mus'haf Uthman, Uthmani Quran, has 114. So who got it right? Two of the four renowned teachers, reciters, memorizers of the Quran, Abdullah ibn Masood, Obay ibn Kaab, couldn't even agree with each other, though they learned Quran directly from Muhammad. Abdullah ibn Masood said there's only 111 chapters. Surah al-Fatiha is not a surah, it's a prayer. And he's right, it's a prayer. How can this be a surah that's eternal, uncreated? It's a dua, it's a prayer given to the worshippers of Allah. Ubay ibn Kaab disagreed and had actually 116 surahs. Uthman, the Quran you have today, only has 114. So who got it right? Who got it right, brother? Do you know who got it right or no? None of them got it right, brother. That's okay. what I would say. <laughs> so here's the point. Since Surah Al-Fatiha is accepted by the, what they call Ijma, the majority of Muslims, then who was praying Surah Al-Fatiha in eternity before creation? Now, if you say that this prayer is eternal, but no one prayed it until Allah created the creation and Allah created Muslims. Now, here's the problem with that. You guys got to listen and let me know you're following along and we're not putting you to sleep. Is my sound quality good, guys? Connection good? Because you're going to get meat right now. Sound quality good? Connection good? Just make sure you let me know. Because now watch what's going to happen. If a Muslim tells me no one was praying it in eternity because Allah was awaiting the creation in which he would create worshipers of him, Muslims, to pray it. Okay. That means Allah is not free of creation. Understand the logic. We're going deep here. Because Allah needed creatures. He had no choice. He had no free will. He had no freedom to choose to create or not to create because he had to necessarily create creatures for this prayer to be a reality. Because if this is a prayer that eternally existed, for it to be a prayer that's actualized, realized, for this prayer to become reality, Allah needed to create creatures who would worship him and pray this prayer to make this prayer a reality for this prayer to be actualized and realized, which means Allah had to create worshipers and he's not free. Amen. That's a huge point over here. Yes, yeah, so you got it, right? Mm -hmm. That's a huge point because as we have read before, it is eternal, never created. If it is never created, it's the word of Allah. So who's speaking it before the creation? If you say Allah, that's another problem. But if the Muslim says no, Allah knew that this prayer would be actualized, realized, it would become an actual prayer, actually prayed by creatures whom he created who would be Muslim. That means Allah could not be free not to create. Because if this is eternal, beginningless, this prayer must be a reality. It cannot simply exist in the mind of Allah. It must be a reality. It must be actualized. It must be prayed. Allah, therefore, was not free, but had to create creatures who would pray this prayer, making it a reality, actualizing the prayer, which means Allah needed creation. That's point so number Allah one. Allah is dependent. So Allah is dependent. That's number one. But if you say no, Allah doesn't need creatures because Allah, Allah was praying it. And by the way, that's possible because what I want you to do I want you to open up the link, and I'll show you which one. Hold on, brother. Let me show you which one, because I gave you too many, and I know you're going to get confused. This is my post, a recent one. You're going to open this up. Okay, brother? 
Okay. This is it. When you go right. to my article, and by the way, we gave you all the links to all this information. When you open it up, I just sent it to you. Okay. Allah worships with the Quran. Now, scroll down to the Hadith. Okay, I'll tell you where to stop. Guys, get ready to be blown away. You guys are in a meat fest. And thank Adam Seeker for reaching out to me, telling me, let's do this session. Lord Jesus bless him in his ministry. Keep going. I'll tell you where to stop. Slowly, slowly, go, go. All right, right there. Narrated Abu Huraira, but click on the link, alam.org, so it can take you to the actual hadith from Tirmidhi. This is an alam.org. Enlarge it for them to see and read it for us. Now read. Allah Messenger said, a thousand year before creating the heavens and the earth, Allah recited Taha, that's the name of the surah, and Yasin, that's another name of the surah. And when the angels heard the recitation, they said, Happy are the people to whom his come this come down. Happy are the minds which carry this, and happy are the tongues which utter this. And Dharami transmitted it, right? Yep. Okay, guys, let's unpack this. A thousand years before creating the heavens and the earth, the heavens and the earth, that's all creation. Allah recites Taha and Yasin. These are two surahs of the Quran. Keep that in mind. And the angels heard Allah reciting Quran. They said, happy are the people to whom this comes down. Man, whoever receives this Quran, these surahs, they're blessed and happy. Why? Because Allah himself recites Quran. How blessed and fortunate are you that you recite the very Quran Allah recites? Now, the real question is, was he reciting Habs or Warsh? <laughs> or, or Kaloon. Kaloon. Which one are but happy are the people to whom this comes down, happy are the minds which carry this, and happy are the tongues which utter this. Now go back to my page because we're gonna look at another form of the same hadith. Scroll down. Uh hold on. Yeah, yeah, Mishkat al Masavi. Click on Mishkat al Masavi. Okay, now read it from there. So they can see that I'm not misquoting, it's there in front of their eyes. Abu Huraira reported God's messenger as saying, A thousand years before creating the heavens and the earth, God recited Surah Taha which is Quran chapter 20, and Yasin. And when the angels heard the recitation, they said, happy are the people to whom this comes down. Happy are the minds which carry this, and happy are the tongues which utter this. Okay, now he's going to leave that image before your eyes so you can see it. Okay. First problem, it says, a thousand years before creating the heavens and the earth, Allah recited, Allah recited, Taha and Yansin, two chapters of the Quran. Okay, problem number one. The heavens and the earth refers to the whole of creation. The heavens and the earth refers to the whole of creation. How then can you speak of time existing before the creation of time? Because time began to exist only when creation came into being. This is just logical, scientific fact. Common sense, scientifically, and even according to the Bible, our Bible teaches God created time when creation came into being. And I'll give you those examples. But here it says, a thousand years before the creation of heavens and the earth. A thousand years before the creation of the heavens and the earth? Well, before the heavens and the earth, there is no creation. Because the heavens and the earth means all creation. You with me there? Exactly. And that's the problem because... If heaven and earth is not created, who is listening, you know? Yeah, and exactly. A thousand years before the heavens and the earth. And the heavens means the seven heavens and everything in it. That's the angels as well. And the earth and everything in it. And you can find that in Surah 41, verses 9 to 12. 41, 9 to 12. But we won't go there. Just keep that in mind. Chapter 41, verses 9 to 12. The heavens, seven heavens, and everything that were created to live in the seven heavens, and the earth and everything in it. But it says a thousand years before the creation of heaven and earth, Allah is reciting. Quran, how do you speak of time? How do you speak of time existing before creation of time? Does that make sense? Number two, it says the angels heard Allah's recitation. Now, because Muhammad is sloppy or the reporter, the narrator of the hadith is sloppy, even though Muhammad says that he was the most eloquent of men, giving very pithy, succinct expressions full of meaning. Well, here, the way... Muhammad articulated it, it leaves you with the impression that the angels were there a thousand years before the heavens and the earth were created, hearing Allah recite 
these two chapters of the Quran. How can you have angels existing before the heavens and the earth hearing the recitation of the Quran by Allah? Now they'll say, well, that's not what it means. Well, it may not mean that, but the way Muhammad formulated, articulated this statement, he didn't articulate it in the most eloquent, clearest manner, which means that his language, his speech, leaves a lot to be desired. You get my point? Amen. Yes, definitely. That's okay. why I was mesmerized when you first shared it. It's awesome. Okay, now the third problem. These surahs that Allah is reciting contain worship, glorification, praise of Allah. And also contain statements where the recitee, the one reciting it, is asking Allah to forgive him or her, asking Allah to guide him or her, asking Allah to save him from Allah's wrath. If Allah is reciting these chapters, that means Allah is reciting statements where he says to Allah to guide him, to forgive him, <clears throat> to save him from Allah's wrath, to save him from sinners. And not only that, but Allah is reciting chapters in which Allah is glorifying Allah, praising Allah, worshipping Allah, and praying to Allah. Which brings us back to Surah Al-Fatiha. Let's go to chapter 1. Again. All right. That's a problem. Major problem. Watch what's going to happen here. You're here, brother? Yep. Go ahead. Now, read again slowly. Praises, the praises is to Allah, Lord of the worlds. Allah is saying, okay, all of it? Yep. The entirely well, merciful, the especially merciful. Severian of the day of recompense, and the day of resurrection or death. It is you we worship. Wait, 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 wait. Now, here's where it gets exciting. Since I've just shown you and proven to you, Allah recites Quran. I just showed you and I proved to you, Allah recites Quran. Surah Al-Fatiha is eternal, uncreated. It's a prayer to be prayed. That means I can now safely assume Allah was the one praying Surah Al-Fatiha before creation. So Allah just said, it is you we worship and you we ask for help. Allah is praying this eternal, uncreated prayer. He's reciting it and praying it in eternity before creation. So Allah is the one saying, you we worship and you we ask for help. So Allah worships someone and asks that someone to help him. Keep going. Oops. Guide us to the straight path. So Allah is asking the one that he worships and the one he asks for his help. You guide us to the straight path. Guide us to the straight path. The path of those upon whom you have bestowed favor. Pause not there. of those. Okay. Pause there, Why are you Russian, man? You're not Russian. You're Pakistani. Stop. Don't be Russian. Okay. So Allah is saying to the one whom he worships, the one that he needs his help, the one that he asks to guide Allah aright, guide me on the path upon those whom you favored. Hold on. Favored who? In creation. You can talk about those whom Allah has favored and those whom Allah has cursed. But this is a prayer that existed before creation. This is a prayer that Allah is reciting before creation. And Allah is talking to someone and saying, guide me on the path of those who are on this path that you favored. Favored whom? No one exists at this time. Favored whom? No one Allah exists himself? at this time. Huh? Allah himself. Basically, he is talking to himself. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's crazy. <laughs> now. Now. It gets worse. Read the other part. Not of those who have earned your anger or those who you led astray. Or okay, who so are astray. You mean in eternity before creation, there are people... Whom Allah is already angry with and have gone astray in eternity before creation? Uh, that's what the verse is saying, brother. So now we're left with one of two explanations. Either Allah is a community of divine beings, a multiplicity of gods, a multiplicity of divine persons 
that were there in eternity, some of whom the chief Allah favored, some of whom earned the wrath of that chief Allah, the Allah over the other Allahs, other gods, some of whom went astray. So this is talking about a community of eternal gods or divine beings or divine persons. Either they're separate gods or all of them are Allah collectively. But among them, there's a chief Allah, a chief God over the rest. So in eternity, some of these gods went astray. Some of these gods got the chief God, Allah, the chief Allah angry at them. Some of them remained on the path and made that chief Allah happy with them. Or it means, or it means that again, Allah needs creatures. Not only does he need creatures, he needs sinners to exist. He needs evildoers to exist. He needs people to get him angry for this verse to be a reality. Because if there are no creatures who sin and rebel and are evil, that means there is no one who's gone astray with whom Allah is angry with. So this part of the prayer, if it's eternal, uncreated, shows Allah had to create people and had to make them sin and had to make them rebel and had to make them do evil in his sight in order for him to hate them and be angry with them enough for this prayer to become actualized, a reality. Wow. But yeah, let me let me put a, put one more thing over here because Allah really wants sinners. That's uh, evident. Oh, I'm going to well. you from the hadith. Okay, so uh, did you, so you got that point too, right? Yeah, I got that point, and that is why this click, this hadith suddenly clicked into my mind because that's what Allah said. <laughs> yeah, because I'm going to get the hadith. Here it is. Now let me prove to you, Allah needs 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 sinners to sin and created people to sin and do evil. This comes from Sahih Muslim. Now, in one of my articles, this is the article here. You can click on it. Now, the links, because it's an older article, the links are defunct, meaning it was linking to a site where they changed it. But you can still find these ahadith on sunnah.com. But let me give you the link. Click here. Here sure. it is. I'm doing that. Just give me a sec. And that's a crazy hadith. I was pretty amazed when I saw this hadith, FYI. Anyhow, see, let's go. Allah, a very needy deity. This is Narcus. Slow down. You'll see right there. Go, 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 go down, go down, go down. Right there, chapter two, the obliteration of sins with the help of seeking forgiveness from Allah. It's Sahih Muslim, the old numbering, 6620. You can find it on sunnah.com by just putting the keywords. But before you do that, just read those ahadith. Abu Sumaira reported that when the time of the death of Abu Ayyub Ansari draw near, he said, I used to conceal from you a thing which I heard from Allah Messenger, and I heard Allah Messenger saying, had you not committed sin, Allah would have brought into existence a creation that would have committed sin and would have Allah would have forgiven them. <laughs> wow. What, what would Allah do? He would remove you if you will not commit sin and create some people who would commit sin. So that tells you Allah deliberately created people to sin, to do evil and immorality because he needed sinners to exist. Because without sinners, he couldn't be merciful. So Allah needs creatures. And like Almer just said, Allah is bound to the Quran. He must do whatever the Quran says will exist and be done. Allah is not even free from his Quran and he's not free from his creatures. Now read the next hadith. Abu Ayyub Ansari reported that Allah Messenger said, if you were not to commit sin, Allah would have swept you out of existence and would have replaced you by another people who would who have committed sin and then asked forgiveness from Allah, and he would grant them pardon. Now notice how evil and wicked and immoral Allah is. It says, if you didn't commit sin, he'd destroy you and wipe you out. Guys, understand what Muhammad just said. Allah would destroy and wipe out sinless, perfect people. Allah would wipe out, annihilate, obliterate sinless, perfect people who've never sinned, why? Because Allah needs sinners, must create sinners, because he needs sinners for him to be actually merciful. So if you never sin, he's got to wipe you out. And you're telling me that Allah is just? This is a filthy, wicked, immoral God to wipe out perfect people because he needs sinners to actually be merciful. Crazy.
crazy now theology. Now we have a third hadith. Yeah. Abu Huraira reported, Allah Messenger having said, by him in whose hand is my life. So he is swearing on Allah. If you were not to commit sin, Allah would sweep you out of existence and he would replace you by those people who would commit sin and seek forgiveness from Allah. And he now would pardon them. Convince me. This is Sahih Muslim number 6622. Convince me Allah is perfect, perfectly righteous, perfectly just, holy, free of all sin, and does not need creatures after what you just read. No, I cannot convince you of that. He wants people to commit sin. He wants to show that he is merciful. He is a needy God who wants to show what his property is, which makes him, I don't know, doesn't God. Like, why would he need to do something? You get it? So everyone got that, right? I just want to make sure you got the problem with Allah, his character, his justice, and that he he's a needy God. So either interpretation of these verses destroys Islam, destroys all of the Quran, destroys Muhammad, and shows this is a filthy, wicked, satanic system. May the Lord Jesus save Muslims from this filth, immorality, and irrationality. But let Amen. me prove to you it is Allah who's praying to Allah and asking Allah to guide Allah on the straight path. Go to chapter 1, verse 6 again. Now look at Abbas Aqa barking again. This is great wisdom in the hadith. It should not be taken literally. Yeah, so he's smarter than Muhammad, better than Muhammad, because he knows that it's not literal, even though he didn't get that from his fake prophet, the son of the devil. All right, now notice again what Allah says. Guide us to the straight path. Now, guys, get ready to be blown away here. Get ready to be blown away. I mentioned this yesterday on Somali Christian TV because I did something similar. Whoever is praying this, notice he's praying. He's saying, guide us to the straight path. Guide us to the straight path. So these people need to be on the straight path. Go to chapter 11, verse 56. 11, 56. Mm -hmm. Okay, tawakkal. Oh, indeed, I have relied upon Allah, my Lord and your Lord. There is no creature but that he holds it by the forelock. Indeed, my Lord is on a path that is straight. <laughs> Wait, Allah is on the straight path. Can you read the Arabic? Yes, sir. It says, Inna, Inna, Rabbi, Allah, Siratim Mustaqim. So, indeed. Translate for us and explain what you just read. Indeed, Rabbi, my Lord, Allah, Siratim Mustaqim, is on the straight path. Wait, so Praise. Allah is on the straight path? That's what Allah is saying in Quran. So right here, it says, My Lord, Allah is on a straight path? Crazily, Allah is saying that, brother. Or is it the person saying about Allah, loser? Who's, it's not Allah saying it. That's why uh, you keep saying Allah saying, Loser, L for love, lose your burden of sin. Indeed, I have relied upon. Okay. My Lord, he's saying it. Allah Akbar. Yes, yes. Indeed, my Lord. So you are you are telling me that somebody else is saying that. I yeah, that's understand. actually one of the messengers of Allah who's receiving wahi. It's not me. Read it. Allahu Akbar. My Lord is on a path that's great. Is that Allah that speaking is, or is that a messenger? Some messenger is speaking, correct? This is why I gotta get you arrested and locked up. Because you and Hussein, you drive me nuts. The read in front of you, it's the messenger saying it. Yes, sir. You are right. Why are you saying Allah? I know it is the word of Allah and it's wahi. But for context sake, the okay. messenger is speaking to people and saying, my Lord is on a straight path. Correct. Okay. And you kept saying Allah. You, you are right. I was wrong. You are right. I was no, wrong. No, you're never wrong. You're never wrong. You and, and Hussein, never wrong. If I retire from apologetics, it's because of you and Hussein. <laughs> okay, don't retire. <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's try it a fifth time. You with me here? Yes, sir. Is Allah on the straight path? According to this verse and according to the messenger of Allah, yes, indeed. Allah is on a straight path. And this messenger of Allah was inspired by Allah. He received wahi to say this, right? Exactly, because this is part of Quran. 
So you're right in that Allah told the messenger to say this and made it part of Quran. That is absolutely correct. So just so everyone got the point, Allah is on a straight path according to chapter 11, verse 56. Crazy, yeah. right? That is yeah, like, right? yeah, I got it. Like Allah is on the straight path. Seriously. So he can be astray as well. In other words, then. So that's proof that in chapter one, verse six, it is Allah praying, saying, guide us on the straight path. Absolutely. Absolutely. Allah can pray this then. You got it, right? Mm -hmm. If Allah is on a straight path, that proves that Allah is praying, guide us on the straight path. Absolutely. See? So it is Allah praying, this eternal prayer before creation. That is crazy. I never correlated these two verses together, but you did it. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so now what's my point? Notice the difference between Jesus Christ who says, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus, God's glorious son, is not on the straight path. He is the straight path. Amen. Yet Allah, Abbas is God, Muhammad's God, is on the straight path and is praying to be guided on the straight path. Is it sinking in? Yep. And it's like you're silent. Why is your silent? Like you're shouting. I am. I'm, I'm. 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 Literally, I have no words. Quite frankly, the way you are showing it, it's it's crazy. It's rather beyond crazy. Yep. Right. Like literally speaking. Yep. So this is the eloquence of the Quran. It destroys Tohi, destroys Islam, buries Muhammad, and shows the Quran as a fraud. And nothing more than a fraud. Okay, but we, it, we got more. This is just the beginning. Amen. Now, let me show you. Allah worships someone else who's Allah. Allah obeys someone else who's Allah. Allah is subject to someone else who's Allah. Allah is under the authority and command of someone else who's Allah. Are you guys ready? Wow. You ready? Yes. But you're going to have to now get the Arabic and an accurate translation. Because in these verses, the Muslims who are dishonest, like Abbas and Abbas's prophet, added words in the English in brackets or parentheses. So the most accurate translation would be Arbery, if you can get it. If not, but you need Arabic as well, so you can confirm. Go to Surah al maryam chapter 19. 19, verse number? Yeah. Verses 63, 64, but you're going to read 63 first. All right. Let's just read 63 without the uh, English. Tilka, tilka ul jannatu, thikhe, al So this paradise or jannah, which nourishu men of ibadana, uh, ibadana of a slave, men who kana is righteous. So this paradise, which we give as inheritance, nourishu to. Uh, uh, we'll see. I met some idiots in my life, but Abbas is probably one of the stupidest, most stupidest idiots among the Muslims because now he's telling us he speaks better than his God. Notice, guys, Abbas just humiliated his God because the Quran is supposed to be perfect speech. It's not human speech. He just told us, you guys deleted it, CT. CT, I think you need to get blocked and thrown out because how am I going to read his comment if you just deleted his comment? Who's this guy, CT, dude? <laughs> See these, we, if we are talking to the person, don't un, unhide. By the way, uh, we can read it in the, let me put it here. Right. There we go. Okay. Let's put read it. Up. Dude, CT, be patient, dude, before I block you to Mecca so you can lick the black stone. Man, dude, trigger happy. Wait. Okay, Abbas is telling us he speaks better than his God and prophet. He just committed shirk and humiliated his God. He's telling us what his God actually meant to say. It really means that Allah is on a straight path, means that if you go on a straight path, you'll find him there. Even this statement shows you the guy's stupid. Why would I find Allah on the straight path? Notice it says, if you're on the straight path, you're going to find him there. There where? On the straight path? So you moron. You just proved he's on the straight path. That's number one. Number two, if that's what Allah meant, couldn't Allah say it? Why is it you're helping Allah speak better? Why is it you're helping Allah out to speak better couldn't Allah say what you said better than you? Because the Quran is divine speech. You are 
an imperfect imbecile, a pagan stone kisser, whose language is imperfect, even in your writing, it is incoherent babble resembling the Quran. Why is it you speak better than your God and you're able to tell me what your God meant? Couldn't your God just tell me what he meant? Did he need you? Anyway, get lost now. But go ahead. Interesting now. question. Yes. Okay, now let me remove it. By the way, this guy has... I'm sorry, man. I can't respect Abbas because he's a clown who's go who goes around defending this filthy, wicked, satanic dog and attacks the Bible. He deserves no respect. If this man continues to defend this filthy dog whom he thinks is a prophet, he deserves what he gets. Enough, dude. Repent. Muhammad is in hell. Live with it. Your God is a fake. Live with it. Bow before Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, or he'll be your judge like he damned your prophet. Enough. Amen. You're not Amen. convincing anyone. You're convincing yourself because you want to be stupid and you want to go to hell. You want to go there? Enjoy the barbecue with your prophet. Anyway, Amen. go back Amen. to 1963. 1963. This paradise which we give as inheritance to the slaves who are on the righteous. Not to the slaves. You must read it, brother. Men Ibadana, our slave. Yeah, reread read it again, brother. Okay. Which we give as inheritance to our slaves or servant or Ibadana, Ibad, okay. Abad. Okay. You know, you can make it easier when you have the Arabic, the English is right in front of them, right? Because it's right beneath you. Okay. Servant, they say servant. Okay, we can call him servant as well. No, can you read? Can you read the English, sir? Okay, we give as inheritance to those of our servant who are who are fearing of Allah. Okay, see, because I don't want everyone to miss this point now. Now, guys, don't miss this point. I want you to pay attention. That is part of paradise, which we give as an inheritance. We give as an inheritance to those of our servants who were fearing Allah. Now, even Abbas is not that stupid. He may have surprised me. He may be that stupid to deny this is Allah speaking. We give as an inheritance to those of our servants because a Muslim cannot be the slave. He cannot be the servant of a creature. He cannot be the slave, the servant of Jibreel or Michael, Mikhail. He's only the slave, the servant of Allah. So Allah is saying, we, Allah, we give an inheritance to those of our servants who fear Allah paradise, we give them paradise as an inheritance to our servants who fear Allah. So even Abbas is not that stupid to deny Allah speaking here. Allah is saying we and our, right? Correct. Now you're going to drop the ball because you have Sai International and you're going to make me retire from ministry because Sai International is not going to translate correctly. You're going to have to get either Arbery, Arbery. Not, not Pictha. I don't think Pictha translates it correctly either. See if you can get Arbery, because you're going to make me retire from give me, ministry. Uh, give me your link. Uh, give me the link of your uh, browser, me, please. Okay, wait. Hold on, brother. You're telling me that I gave you the link, and not only you don't use it, you don't even have it bookmarked? Uh, I have it. I don't want Okay, maybe. Uh, okay, there you go. Were you sent with Hussein to make me lose my testimony and retire from ministry? No, brother, we are, we are giving you testimony that you have a lot of patience now. But I'm not a doctor. I don't want patience. Only doctors see patience and have patience. I'm not a doctor. I'm an apologist. Okay. So why uh, are you? Why are you? But why are you trying to give me patience? I'm answer to your prayers, brother. Remember. But by the way, you have Sam Shuman reincarnated, whose wife, whose mother got beat by the Shia, being a fat slob, prostitute of the Shia, doing muta, like Sauda bin Zama was a fat slob, and his whore prophet dumped her. Anyway, go ahead. Okay, so we come, we come not down, save at the commandment of thy Lord. To Him belongs all that is before us, and all that is behind us, and all between that. Wow. Now read 63 and 64 together. So people, guys, focus and get the point. By the grace of Jesus Christ, don't let the demons, the dogs of Muhammad, like their filthy dog Muhammad, distract you. Focus, guys. Okay, re -read. That, that is paradise, which we, Allah, shall give as inheritance to those of our servants who are God-fearing. We come, come not down, save at the commandment of thy Lord. To him belongs all that is before us and all that is behind us and all between that. Now, brother, in this 
verse in 64 when it says, We come not down. We do not come down except by the commandment of your Lord, Son of Muhammad, supposedly. To him belongs all that is before us and all that is behind us and all between that. In the context of these passages, who is speaking? Who is speaking? Saying, we do not come down except by the commandment of your Lord Muhammad. And to him belongs all that is before us, all that is behind us, all that is between. Who's speaking? Who's saying Allah. we do not come down? How do Allah. we know it's Allah? How do we know it's Allah? Because that is Allah who has the in who will give the inheritance. And obviously, if we take the context, then this is also Allah. That's why. Because of verse 63, the speakers do not change. 63 and 64, the speakers are the same, people. The we and the hour of 63, we will give as an inheritance to those of our servants. That's Allah, because Muslims are only slaves of Allah. The same group speaking in 63, go, not, go on to say in 64, we come not down, save at the command of your Lord. To him belongs all that is before us, all that is behind us, and all between. That means the Arabic Quran has Allah saying, we will give our slaves an inheritance, paradise, and we do not come down except by the order of your Lord Muhammad. And to him, your Lord, belongs all that is before us. Who's the us? The ones that gave paradise to our servant slaves. And all that is behind us and all between that. Wow. Like this is crazy because unless you add and that's why I want you to go back to your now your browser, see what Sai International, all the Muslims did, and show them the Arabic. That the Arabic, there is no change in spirit here. Now watch what they did with 1964. So they added bracket, Jibrail said, which is not here. It says Wama Nanazulu. Right? You know say Gabriel said it says, and we angels. Uh yes, it, it is like in the Arabic, there's no angel, no Jibrail, no nothing. Full stop. Okay, it's full stop. How the Muslim, because they're satanic, they're like their father, the devil, liars and murderers. They accuse us Christian Jews of butchering the Bible, yet they shamelessly butcher, desecrate, destroy their filthy Quran by adding words and twisting the Arabic to those who don't know Arabic. Look what they did. They added the word Gabriel said in brackets. It's not in Arabic. And then they put the word angels in brackets when the word angels is not there. Exactly. Exactly. And because, like, and we, the angels, why, why? It just says, Vama nata, nata we descend, who we, the, the context should be taken from the previous verse, full stop. Or Allah should have said, the malaika over here, angels, angels descend. There is no malaika over here whatsoever. Illa, except, be amri rabbi, without the, uh, except the command of rabb, full stop. Where is the angels here? In the Arabic, there is no angel. Wow. So Allah worships Muhammad's Lord, who is Allah. And Allah comes down only at the command of Muhammad's Lord, who is Allah. And Muhammad's Lord, Allah, is before Allah, behind Allah, and all around him. That's what we just read. Exactly. Absolutely. You, 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 you serious? Um, that, that's exactly what they're saying. That Allah comes down. It, the Arabic is so clear unless you add something to the Arabic yourself. All right. Now, go back, go to the mind browser because you're going to have to use Arbery. I want you to read chapter 19 of the Quran, verses 35, 36. I hope you guys are learning and not being distracted because we already have people disrespecting the channel. And they, I think they're Christian, but they have no respect for their Christian brother. They're already advertising another debate somewhere else, another debate somewhere else. In order to get attention off the topic, like tools of the devil, and get them to think about some other session on some other channel. Hide of disrespect, but that's Christians for you. Shame on you, but that's okay. Anyway, now, 1935, 36. Now, guys, pay attention now to the language. 1935 and 1936. 36. Now, it listen, is guys, remember, this is Allah speaking. Muslims will tell you the Quran is Allah speaking. Muslims will tell you the Quran is Allah speaking. By the way, hoop loop, contact me. Give me your information on YouTube. Uh, Prophet Google, if you're here, unblock hoop loop. And I want your name because when I saw you last night, my brother, on William Albrecht, you look so innocent and broken. You broke my heart. 
So I'm going to give you another chance, and I'm going to forgive you, brother. You broke my heart when I saw you. It's like he was on the live stream yesterday. He looked so innocent and quiet, and I know why he did it. He let me see him, see his face, so I could be heartbroken. And I, my heart broke, man. I looked at you and said, man, I got to now unblock this guy. See what you did? Even though I look mean, I'm a softy, you little sinner. So Prophet Google or Protestant, unblock him. He'll give you the link to his channel, unblock it, and I'll unblock you on Skype. Yep. All right, go ahead, brother. Read slowly. All right. It is not for God to take a son unto him. Glory be to him. When he decrees a thing, he but says it be and it is. Okay, now pause there. Muslims will tell you the Quran is the speech of Allah. And Allah is the one speaking. So it is Allah who just said it is not for Allah to take a son unto him. Glory be to him. When he decrees a thing, he but says to it be and it is. This is Allah speaking. Remember, it's a speech. Yes. So now notice Allah is going to speak in verse 36. Notice what Allah says. Surely God is my Lord <laughs> and your Lord. So serve you him this is a straight path <laughs> okay i'm really confused you're confusing me allah is the one speaking because the quran is a speech so allah mm -hmm. just said surely allah is my lord and your lord so serve you him this is a straight path that's what he's saying apparently you no come on man you're kidding me apparently that's that's the english translation at least it is surely no, it says that now go back to your your browser Read the Arabic. There is no change in the speaker. The same speaker of 35 is speaking 36. But now watch what these dishonest, wicked, satanic Muslims do in their translation. Okay. So, so in the in the 35 is all clear. It's Allah speaking. And the 36 is saying, Wa inna Allahu, Allaha, Rabbi, wa Rabbukum. Wow. And surely and Allah is my Lord. <laughs> Dr. Ghali, Ghali translated correctly. Look at how he translated it. And surely Allah is my Lord. Inna Allah Rabbi. Wow. But notice, Rabbukum. Translation. notice what the next translation did. Wow. For Abudu. So worship him. So worship him. Haza Siratum Mustaqim. This is a straight path. Now watch the next translation. Now this is Sahih International. And they added Jesus said. <laughs> so what they did? They added Jesus said. You see what they're doing? They are trying to change the context without changing the context. Like the in the Arabic, why why can't Allah just simply say Kala Isa ibn Maryam or Kala uh, Al Masi? They could have said that. Like Allah yeah. could have just write Kala uh, Isa ibn Maryam or Kala Isa. Yeah. Okay, so here's what we're trying to get at: the very wicked Muslims who slander the Bible, blaspheme Jesus, Muhammad's God and destroyer. Accuse us of perverting the Bible, but these demons are doing it to their Quran. Look what the Muslims who say they fear Allah and love the Quran are doing to their Quran. Twisting it by adding words, removing words, and twisting its meaning by their pen and their tongue. They're doing to the Quran, which they slanderously, slanderously accuse Jews and Christians of doing, because they are hypocrites who belong to the devil. See what they're doing? Now, if you don't know Arabic, you read that, you're going to think that Jesus is speaking, whereas Jesus stopped speaking in the context at chapter 19 verse 33 his words his words ended there and then allah started speaking from 34 onwards let me let me go there basically from 33 let's read that and read 34 33 34 okay give me a sec all right oh that's a very good verse and peace be upon me the day i was born and the day i die and the day i am raised alive that's a big verse in itself jesus is saying that so the next verse Zalika Isa ibn Maryam, that is Isa, son of Mary, the Kaulul Haqqi. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The, the word, word of truth, right? He is the truth. Kaulul Haqqi. Concerning which they are uh, now it's wondering. Allah speaking, right? Yep. That is Isa, son Jesus of Mary. Speaking. And then the next verse, it's Allah speaking. And the verse after that, it's Allah speaking. Yeah. Because it says that is Isa. So you know the context now. This word Zalika, that makes it distinction that now the context is switching that allah is saying that is isa ibn maryam right and then comes makan allah in no way 
is it for Allah to take him a child? Now, Allah is speaking here in the verse number 36. Allah had to add something to say that I am changing the context. Yeah. Which he did right. not add it. You see that, right? Yes. So there you go, guys. This is the perfect Quran showing Allah is multiple gods, multiple ilahs, and some Allahs are subject to another Allah, and they fear that Allah, and worship the Allah, Allah, and subject to that Allah. This is showing that the Quran is garbage, incoherent garbage, and that's what it is. Don't respect the Quran. Just like they try to disrespect the Bible, give them a taste of their own medicine. But Amen. we got more. Are you ready? We got more, brother. Oh, yes, yes, I'm ready. Hold on. Just give me a sec. Protect, protect. Protection auditives. Are you serious that you want me to leave my live stream and go to somebody else's channel and talk to somebody else who is talking to somebody else? Are you even thinking before typing your comment, man? Yeah, that's it. Like, think before you are saying, brother. Yeah, they have no respect, no class. But go ahead, brother. Now go to chapter 17, verse 1. 17, 1. Let's go to your uh, English first and then we will go. 17, 1. Yep. That's a crazy verse in itself. Okay. Yeah, now watch her. It's going to get worse, guys. And we may have to do a part two because I know your time is running out, right? How much time you have? Uh, please, please, please. I, I need that. I need that. I'm loving it. But how much time you have now, man? We, we can go on for another 45 minutes. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to have to do a part two because I'm not going to get near finishing everything. Okay. 17 verse 1. God willing, we'll do part two. But 17 verse 1. Read it slowly. Glory be to him who carried his servant by the night from the holy mosque to the furthest mosque the precinct of which we have blessed we have blessed we have blessed right allah has blessed yes that we might show him some of our signs we might show him some of our ayat ayat can also mean miracles so notice yes. the people the per, the group the people speaking says we have blessed the precincts of masjid al-aqsa the furthest mosque and we showed him our ayat, our miracles. We showed him our miracles when we <clears throat> took him to the farthest mosque whose precincts we blessed. Showed him our miracles. Now finish it. He is all hearing the all seeing. Okay, now guys, talk about confusion. Understand? It's Allah speaking about Allah. Notice, glory be to him. Who carried his servant, his slave. Who's speaking? Allah. So Allah is saying about himself and to himself, glory be to him. So Allah is now worshiping himself. Glory be to him, meaning glory be to me. The him is me, the me is him. Glory be to him, meaning glory to us. Who took his slave, meaning our slave, by night from the holy mosque to the furthest mosque, the precincts of which we have blessed that we might show him some of our signs, our miracles. He is the all hearing, the all seeing. Now you got problems. Guys, pay attention. Notice the pronoun him, and he's going to show you in the Arabic. We might show him some of our signs. Now, the him doesn't change. Him, mm -hmm. he is the all hearing, the all seeing. Him, he is the all hearing, the all seeing. Who is the him? The Muhammad. one who's all hearing, all seeing. So here it says, the him that Allah showed miracles to. That him is the whole hearing, the all seeing. But we got a problem. If this is Muhammad, we showed him, Muhammad, our miracles. That means the Arabic is saying, him, Muhammad, is all hearing, all seeing. You just made Muhammad Allah. But if it can't be Muhammad, and it's Allah who's the all hearing, the all seeing, that means this group showed Allah their miracles. We showed him, Allah, our miracles. He, Allah, is the all hearing, the all seeing. It doesn't change. Okay, I think everyone is lost. Everyone right. is lost. Because how can Muhammad or the person be all hearing and all seeing? <laughs> See, this, this is crazy, man. How can a human be all hearing and all seeing? But that's the word of Allah, apparently. Oh, did I lose Sam? No, I'm here. I'm listening to you. Go ahead. But I wanted yeah. you to explain it to them. In your own way, so they can get it. Explain it to them. Yeah, uh, let's let's go to like. Yeah, uh, you're absolutely right. Let's go to the Arabic of this now. Let's go to Quran seventeen one. Yeah. So no, oh, that sorry. the him and the he is the same, right? They don't change, right? Yeah. 
right? Okay. Yes, the and it's the same. They don't change, right? No, they don't change. They do, they do not change. That's the that's the thing. So that is why even in Dr. Ghali, what is he saying? Let's let's look at this one. That we might show him of our signs. Surely he ever he is the ever hearing, the ever beholding. So he didn't add anything in here. But let's see what they did here. Our sign, indeed, he is he hearing and all seeing. But they are adding these things. Let's see. What are they doing? Who hears every sound? Distinguish every <laughs> So they are not. <laughs> they are not even trying to fix it as well. They are just trying to use maybe the capital H to show. Yes. That's what they're doing. They're putting him lowercase and the he in uppercase. But even the he in uppercase, that's because when you begin a sentence, the first letter in the word of a new sentence has to be capitalized. Correct. Right? But he, so, guys, notice the perfect, eloquent Quran is so confused that it says, we showed him our miracles. He is the all-hearing, the all-seeing. Hold on. If it's Muhammad whom they showed miracles to, how do you say Muhammad is all-hearing, all-seeing? That's blasphemy. But if it's Allah who is all hearing, all seeing, then he is the him that this group showed miracles to. Why does Allah need a group to show him miracles? Man. Crazy, right? That's, that's Everyone crazy. Everyone got it, right? Oh, me, dear. Guys, if you learn these arguments, I swear to you, learn them properly, understand them properly, and you got the articles to understand them, and you got the Holy Spirit to help you, you will destroy Islam. It's over. They're going to hate you and they're going to try to want to kill you. But Jesus is our Lord. Our life in his hands. We're, we don't fear their threats. We will silence them and destroy Muhammad. Keep threatening. Keep insulting. We'll keep destroying your prophet by the glory of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. They say the Quran is a miracle. Okay. So we got that right. We're going to go to other examples. Go now to chapter 51, 47 to 51. Chapter 51, 47 to 51. But first you're going to read chapter 51, 47 to 49. Okay. To 51, 47 to 49. Yeah, but no, you can put 51 too. Just go back, go back, brother. 51 colon, colon, 47, 51. Put 51, right? And then you don't have to read all the way to 51. Just stop at 49 so they can understand who's speaking. And heaven, we built it with might and we exalted it white. And the earth, we spread it forth, O oh, excellent smoother. And now, before you go on, it's Allah speaking again in the plural. Because if you ask a Muslim, who built heaven and spread it? Allah alone. We built it with might and extended it. We spread the earth, and we are the excellent smoothers. There's no doubt this is Allah speaking. And then 49, who else is speaking? And of everything created, we, two kinds. We, again, Allah is the creator. We created pairs of everything. Everything we created in pairs. Happily is the only English way of saying perhaps. Perhaps you will remember, right? Perhaps you remember. Perfect. Okay, reread it one more time. 47, 40. So it sinks in that it's Allah speaking. Allah speaking. Allah speaking. And heaven we built it with might and we extended it wide. And earth we spread it forth. Oh, excellent smoother. And for everything created, we took we two kinds. Happily you will remember. Wow, that's all Allah. Okay, now. Allah speaking, guys, doesn't change. Now, notice what Allah says in 50. Read 50. Therefore, flee unto God. I am a clear warner for him to you. Who's who's speaking? Allah. Allah said, then run to Allah, seek refuge Allah, because I, Allah, am a clear warner from Allah to you. Apparently. <laughs> now, what about 51. And set not up with God, another God. I am a clear warner from him to you. Wait, so Allah again is speaking because the, the speakers do not change. From 4751, it's the same speaker. And Allah then says, do not set up with Allah, another God. I, Allah, am a clear warner from him, Allah, to you. Crazy. Why can't Allah write one single word over here and fix the problem? And now, if you want to verify in the Arabic, there's no change in the speakers. Change it compared. It's because, again, so, no, you don't know Arabic, brother. You don't know Arabic, man. <laughs> you don't know Arabic. 
right, man? You wow. Wow. Yeah, I can see if the Arabic changes. Am I lying? We created it. Okay. Min kulli shine and everything we created. Wa min kulli shine. Okay. Fair, perfect. La to the karun. And you be mindful. And. Fafiru ilalallah. Inni lakum min hu nuzirim mubin. And I am evident. Man, this is. Wow. Wow. No change, right? No. No. But now, in that translation after Ghali, there's a one. What does that one say? See, now the Muslim translation, the one after, what's is that site internet? Okay. They have a one there. Click. What does it say in the footnote? I Turn eat turn to Allah. Okay. So they don't change it either here. But can you look at other channels? If they added words in 50 to see the speakers change? Site International at least caught it right. Got it right. We give them eight. Okay. Let's right? see. Let's see the most disturbed translation. Muhammad Hijab. Right. With everything we have created pairs so that you may be reminded. Okay, that's good. So flee to Allah God. I am a plain warner to you from He put him. in quotations. Yeah. You know, I put in quotations to show that now someone else speaking. Exactly. Colon and quotations. <laughs> yep. They're embarrassed by their Quran. Look at the Muslims. They have no honor, no respect. They pervert their Quran. They twist their Quran. They add to their Quran. They erase from their Quran. Showing they speak better than their God, and they're smarter than their God, and they butcher their own Quran. People do this through their own book. Don't be shocked, they'll do it in any other book. And that's why they take words out of context of the Bible as well, because they can they're doing it with their own word of God. Yep. Now we're gonna give two more examples and we're gonna talk about other examples. And I think your time will be up, or we'll be back for part two, God willing, Lord willing. Now, I want you to go to chapter six, verse one fourteen. Chapter six, verse one fourteen. All right. Six, what, one, what shall I seek after any judge but God? For it is he who sent down to you the book, well distinguished, and those whom we have given the book know it is sent down from thy Lord with the truth. Okay, this context just simply switched. So no, be, no, actually you didn't switch. You got it. You keep reading. You so be good. not though of the doubters. Okay, now guys, he's going to confirm the Arabic. Notice the speaker does not change. Mm -hmm. The speaker does not change. What? Shall I seek after any judge but Allah? In other words, shall I look for another judge besides Allah? For it is he who sent down to you. So notice he's talking to someone else. You, the book, both English. And those whom we have given the book. Notice it's the same speaker. Mm -hmm. Shall I seek another judge besides God Allah when it is he who sent down to you the book well distinguished? So Allah sent down the book. And those whom we have given the book know it is sent down from thy Lord with the truth. Wait. Allah just said, I will not look for any other judge except Allah because it is Allah who sent down the book and those whom we gave the book. No, it is sent down from your Lord. Okay, I'm confused. Allah saying, I have no other judge but Allah, because Allah, your Lord, sent down the book, the book that we gave to you. Crazy, right? Wait, the one who gave the book is the one who just said, I will have no other judge but Allah. I will have no other judge but Allah, and we have given the people the book. So that means the I and the we is Allah, because Allah gave the book. But then that person says, I, the we who gave people the book will not have any other judge except Allah and who is Allah your Lord who sent down the book <laughs> that's why I was confused while reading it as well <laughs> what yeah, just happened within the verse okay but now go back to the Arabic and see how the Muslims translate this notice the words that they add oh my goodness okay let's see Dr. Ghali, he, he should not add anything. Uh, then I sh uh, in shall I inequitably seek other than Allah for the, I have no idea, are bitter and he is the one who has sent down to you the book clearly expounding. They added a question mark here, which is crazy. Let me see. Kitabul uh, Mufassilan, fair enough, doesn't matter. No question mark. And the ones to whom we bought the book know that it is being sent down from your Lord 
with the truth. So they added the word say there, huh? Yeah. Uh, and the one who, the one to who they the on the, yeah, sent to you from the, so do not be, man, 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 they, 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 here the say is not in the Arabic. There's no cool here. There's they see no how cool to be honest, but Luna Ghali added the word say so that to deceive you into thinking it's not Allah speaking, it's now Muhammad being told to say this. Exactly. So the first word say, if we take that, yeah, that that's crazy. Okay. crazy the crazy. word Arabic doesn't have say, right? No. There's no cool. There's no cool. Everyone can no. read. There's no cool. Cool means say. Now, how does Sahi International translate it? Okay, Sahi International. They added say as well to begin they, with. You see, guys, this should make you hate this religion, hate Muhammad with perfect hatred because he's a son of the devil, and hate Allah the Quran that they can create such people who are murderers, rapists, pedophiles, and liars. Pray Jesus saves them or protects us from them. Because these are demons waiting, waiting to kill and murder for their God. How do you respect a religion like this that does this to their scripture? Right? Man. You got it, right? Now, oh, yes. you have about 30 minutes or how much time you have? So I can know. Why? Sorry. How much time you have? Yeah, we can do one more. We can do one, one more. more. Yes. Yeah, okay, we have at least say, maybe... this, this say thing is a big problem, brother. Because like, you know how many times Allah used kul? Like, kul hu Allah hu ahad? Like say that Allah is uh, he used the word cool, say, but not in these words. He didn't use it, right? Yeah, he didn't use it. He could have used it. Like w w uh, if Allah Quran is mufassil book, tafsilan described everything, and it's a mufassil book, then why was Allah reluctant in putting some additional words which would have made it clear? Right. Now we'll, we'll with the, because your time's now, we're going to look at two more examples, God willing, and we're going to do a part two, Lord willing, sometime this week. But guys, don't forget. He will put the links to all the articles where I have all this information. He will make it available uh, in the description box, God willing. I'll try to upload this session, and I will also put it there so we can get more people to be aware of the session so they can then come to his channel as well, Lord willing. And an hour after the session, I'm going to go live on another topic, a biblical topic, so we can talk about Jesus and have the Lord Jesus wash us in his presence by his word, by his blood, and fill us with the spirit. But Amen. two more examples because I know you got to go. Two more. Okay. Go to chapter 3, verse 18, Arbery. Chapter 3, verse 18. And then you're going to confirm it in the Arabic. 318. God Three bears eight. witness. Slowly, slowly. Pay attention God. to the Arabic Quran. God bear witness. So Allah is bearing witness. That there is no God but He. There's a dash dash. The forget and, the dash. No, yeah, there's see, a dash you dash. dash. You broke the flow. I swear I got to beat you and Hussein. Okay. But there's a Did dash dash, so I'm going to get the dash dash. Hold on. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. If you just read it, they okay. won't know there's a dash dash. Okay. God bears witness that there is no God but he and the angels and men possessed of knowledge. But you destroyed it now. You just, you just destroyed it, brother. Let me, let me, let me read it for Let me help you. Read it. The, I know you're no longer Muslim, so stop trying to be Ummi. You want to make... I swear. I'm gonna okay. Hold on, that's it, man. This guy, man. I swear. <laughs> no, no, no! Don't go to, don't go to the, uh, no, the, the it, wall. Don't go to the wall. The wall will break, brother. <laughs> no, no, hold on, that's it, man. That's it. Hold on, man. That's it. I said I'm gonna hang myself with my shoes. You and Hussein have been sent to make me want to kill myself. Here you go, guys. Witness live. Get the FBI to arrest this man, cause now, now look, I'm going to hang myself with my shoestrings. Okay, take me. Oh, get stuck for Allah. No, no, no. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, let's try it oh, again. All right. We're going to try it again. Here, 318. Read what the Arabic says. Allah, God, bears witness that there is no God but he and the angels and men possess the knowledge upholding justice. If you read the flow of the sentence, and he's going to confirm in Arabic, yeah. Allah just said, I bear witness, the only God there is, is me, the angels and the men of poss possessed of knowledge that uphold the justice. So Allah just bore witness, he with the angels and the men possessed of knowledge that uphold justice, all three groups are the one God, Allah. There is no God but he. Who the he? Allah, the angels and the men possessed of knowledge upholding justice. These three are the he, the one Allah, the almighty, the all wise. That's what you just read. Amen. By going to the Arabic. Oh, yes. I have used that somewhere already. It is crazy. And I heard it from you for the very first time. 
شاہد اللہ لا الہ الا اللہ بیئر وٹنس دیٹ دیٹ از میکس اٹ اپیسٹ دیٹ لا الہ الا ملائی کا تو وہ اول العلم کریزی دس ورس از کریزی اٹس Allah bear witness that there is no God except He and the angels and the ones endowed with knowledge. Upright with equal equity. Now notice, he then added bear witness in parentheses. But notice, he translated the Arabic correctly. But then he deceived you by adding the words bear witness in parentheses. But he had to translate the order of the Arabic correctly. Notice, Gali. Allah bears witness, there is no God except He and the angels and the ones endowed with knowledge, upright with equity. Full stop. That's all the Arabic says. He translated the Arabic correctly. But then he had to help Allah and improve on Allah's speech, correct Allah, because Allah, you made a boo-boo. Because the way he wrote it, you just said, you, the angels, and the men with knowledge who are upright with equity, all of you are Allah. So let me help you out, because I know that's not what you wanted to say. Oops. This is a crazy verse. And by the way, I use that. Let me show you how Allah should have wrote it, because I used that in my Urdu stream today in the morning, and I what still have the paintbrush. There we go. So oh. Allah should have... Sorry, Now, before you, what did they say when you showed that to me? Oh, they were crazy. They were they were crazy. They were they were they went crazy. And they okay. were like two Muslims who jumped in trying to teach me. And I was like, teach Allah first to write how they, how to write the Arabic. Mm -hmm. So you know, if you see the upper one, it's the it's the Arabic of Allah. It's, this one is the Arabic of Allah. Shahad Allah, Anna hu la ilaha illahu wa malaika tuhu wa ulul ilm. Right. This, if we take the translation the way they translated. This whole part should be here, and that's what I did down here. This is the real Arabic. Real Arabic. Man. So, Shahad Allah, wa malaika tu wa ulul ilm anna hu la ilaha illahu. So, you know, like, I don't know why Allah was so OCD when he was writing the Arabic, if he wanted yeah. to say it this way. Wow, man. Why like this, man? Final example, Lord willing, we'll do a part two, and then Prophet Google is here, we'll upload this. And you got the links to the articles. Guys, learn to present the arguments correctly. And you don't need to know Arabic. You don't need to know Arabic. Why? I don't read Arabic. I don't write Arabic. If someone like me doesn't read Arabic, doesn't write Arabic, no seminary, university, college, no Bible, college, can do this you can do it because it's not you and your qualification it's having complete trust that the true god is the god of the bible the bible is the word of the true god and jesus christ is almighty he lives he is real he's not make-believe and because he's almighty over creation he's in love with you and if you give your life to him he will fill you with the holy spirit to do wonders to destroy blasphemies lies sons of the devil false religions, and muzzle blasphemous dogs for his glory because the Lord Jesus is almighty. You just have to believe. If I can do it, you do it. And then the Lord put in hearts of people like me to gather the arguments in one place. We've done the work for you. We've broken down the Arabic for you in the articles. It's you who need to now prayerfully study it slowly, ask the Spirit to help you understand it correctly, then absorb it and use it. But it requires sacrifice and patience for the glory of Jesus. Now, final one, brother. 994. Okay. Chapter 9, verse 94. We're done, man, with this session, man. Okay, 994. Uh, Rob Christian is stating something. I will contact with Rob Christian on that Rob, later. Please, Rob. We gave you enough attention yesterday, Rob. Please take break, man. Okay, go. <laughs> okay, let's go to 994. Hold on. Where did my... Uh-oh. Sorry, brother. Give me a sec. I just okay. lost my uh, browser. Yeah, Rob needs attention. He's saying, no, you got it wrong because Allah is one of those people that receives an inheritance. He needs attention. Rob, give me your address. I'll send you a bozo button and a cookie, and I'll send you, like, ice cream cake. <laughs> All right, brother. Which verse we are going hey, down? The Shia beat your mother like a whore. The Shia beat your mother like a whore after they finished doing muta with the whore, like Muhammad, that whore, molested Aisha <laughs> on Muhammad. Life, man, what are they crazy, man? Seriously speaking, I have no idea no, what that they're... means. We're in their head because we're destroying your fake God and Muhammad. We're burying him, you satanic bastards. Glory to Jesus, and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. Yeah, Woo! go ahead. Amen. 994. 
submit. All right. They will excuse themselves to you when you return to say, do not excuse yourself. We will not believe you. God has already told us tidings of you. God will surely see your work and his messenger. Right there. Then it says Allah will see what you're doing and his messenger. Now, here's where you guys are going to get blown away. Oh. He's going to now read the Arabic. The word see is singular. Allah and Muhammad is messenger. Both of them see what you're doing, showing that Muhammad, like Allah, is omniscient, omnipresent. Here, Allah made Muhammad his partner in divinity because it says Allah will see what you're doing and his messenger, meaning Allah and his messenger have the same sight. What Allah sees, Muhammad sees. What Muhammad sees, Allah sees. Show them that in the Arabic, 994. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Allah, wa, 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 where is it? Allah, mm. alam wa rasuluhu. <laughs> Amalakum wa rasuluhu. Yeah, but the word for see, is it singular or plural? Uh, which word, sorry? The word for see, man, he will see. Oh, I'm going to hang my. Oh, oh, yeah. uh, he will see, singular. Okay, but wait, it says Allah and Muhammad see. So why is it he will see? They are both one. Really? Yeah. Because help me understand. It says Allah, he will see and his messenger. So Allah and the messenger are both seeing what Muslims do. But then why is it seeing in singular? It should have been they will see. But it says Allah and his messenger, he will see. Why does it say he will see when it should say they will see? Hmm. So is it like uh, duality? I don't know. There's some problem over here, or this is Allah and and Muhammad are one. They are one yeah. in being. Now yeah. you got it. See, I'm about yeah, to hang no, no, don't so, do that. So that we don't confuse people for hang myself in my shoestrings. It says Allah and His Messenger. He will see. So who's seeing? Allah and the Messenger. They are both one. So, but then the verb is singular, right? It says He will see, not they will see, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't hang yourself, brother. Okay, tell me what the Arabic word for seeing is, the verb. Wasayara. Okay, now, is wasayara singular? Yes. Right? Yes. So literally it's he will see, right? Yes. But in the Arabic Quran, he will see refers to who? Allah wa Rasuluhu. Allah and the he messenger. So he will see, he singular will see is who? Allah and the Rasul. He is singular. I, the I Rasul. Swear, the messenger, basically. The messenger. So mess I'm going to find you. I'm going to beat you. And then. <laughs> the messenger. The messenger. Okay. Was the word in Arabic for see is what? Vasayari. And literally, it's singular, right? So translate it. Yes. 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 Vasayara. I just and said translate it. Dude, you got mental issues, man. He Dude. will see. He will see. He will okay. see. He will see. He will see. I'm going to get you banned from YouTube, I swear. Okay. <laughs> Please. That's the, that's the job of the Muslimin, brother. Okay. Read. The, what's the Arabic for see again? Vasayara. Translate it. Uh, he will see. Singular, right? He yep. up there, right? Yep. But in the verse, he will see refers to who? The Rasul. Thank you. And Allah and the Rasul. No. Brother, come on. They're both men. What, what, what can I see? The Amal? The deeds? Brother, you, okay, brother, brother. He will see what or he will see who? Brother, why do you mm -hmm. keep saying Rasul? Why can't you say messenger? Are you like mentally challenged now? Okay, Rasul and messenger for me, it's the same thing. So sorry. So I'm sorry that these other people don't exist in your world. It's all about you. You okay. own the world. Yeah, the messenger, the messenger. <laughs> These people are not important. They don't exist. You look down upon them because you're better oh, than them. Man. The we're messenger. talking to people who don't know Arabic. We're trying to make it simple for them. I want to beat you. And... Ah! Okay. Uh, neighbors, neighbors, neighbors. Oh, Watch the neighbors. <laughs> this would have been done 10 minutes ago, but because of you, we're here for five hours. Okay, no, no, no. no. Please, you, you trust. What is the verb for C? In Arabic, is Vasayara. Translate it literally. He will see. 
he will see, not they, right? Nope. But in the Arabic verse, he will see refers to who seeing. Let's see if we're going to get it this time. Allah and the messenger. Oh, thank you now. Now I'm saved. I was about to die. All right. Oh, my goodness. Me, shut your mouth. Get the hell out of here, punk. You chill. Shut your mouth, you little punk. You dirtbag. Anyway, coming back to you. You guys just read the verb is he will see singular. But the verse says Allah and his messenger, he will see. Yep. It should have said they will see. But mm -hmm. it says he will see. That means Muhammad sees what Allah sees. Allah's sight is Muhammad's sight. Muhammad sees what Allah sees. Allah's sight is Muhammad's sight, meaning they are one. Allah and Muhammad are one in what they see. This verse now makes Muhammad Allah's partner in knowledge and sight. So this verse just made Muhammad omniscient, omnipresent, equal to his God. That's what the Arabic says. We got it? Yes. Right. Yes. I'm going to have to stay away from you from a year because my blood pressure can't handle you anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. But, like, uh, I need to remove the shoes and the laces from you before you go live with me again. I got a lot of shoes. Even if you take this, I'm going to hang myself with my sandals. <laughs> right. Now, did everyone get it? Everyone got it? Oh, yes. I know you got it. See, you notice, see, the narcissist? I said, everyone got it. He goes, oh, yes, because he is everyone. It's not all about you, narcissist. <laughs> You're not the only one who exists. We're not nobodies who do not exist anymore. I said, everyone got it? You go, oh, yes. Like, if you're everyone, dude, get off your horse. It's not just <laughs> about you. It's about this bald bastard whose mother was a muta whore who's coming Man. here because we're destroying his prophet and we are spreading camel piss on him. Glory to Jesus. All right. Everyone got it now, right? Everyone say one. All right. God bless you guys. We're done. Part one. I don't know if I'll do part two anytime this year because if I do a part two with him, I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> no, I will send you special uh, water to drink before live stream. Okay. But, but yeah, this is crazy, man. Thank you so very much, quite frankly. Right. Like, this is awesome. And and this verse, I'm going to use it. quite. I'm going to use this verse so often. This is... Yes. And we got another part. I got a lot more if I can handle it. I'm going to go call my doctor this week. I'm going to ask him to give me some blood pressure medicine and medicine for my heart so I can do part two. Because I suspect part two, you're going to give me a heart attack. But So, Lord willing, after I see my doctor and I get some blood pressure medicine, then we'll do part two. Because yeah. you're no, no, I will not do that on Saturday again because Saturday I go in Urdu live stream. The problem is the Rasul is the Urdu word as well. So, Rasul is Urdu, Rasul is Arabic. So, it's, it's both words the same. So, I was still thinking that. Anyhow, but anyhow, thank you. Uh -huh. Anyway, Lord willing, one hour from now, I'm going live on the King James Version and the Book of Revelation, if the Lord wills. So join me in an hour. I'll set it up, brother. Thank you for torturing me. Thank you for showing me that I have a lot of issues to work with. Thank you for showing me I need a lot more patience, so I need to pray more and fast more. more. You and Steve exist to show me my flaws and imperfections, and I appreciate you for that. <laughs> and and thank you, brother, for joining in. May the Lord give you even more patience and courage. Oh, no, don't me, play that. Please, me, no. Me and, and Steve. If you pray for more patience, that means I'm going to have to do more live streams with you and Steve, and I'm going to die. No, no, don't pray. I got enough. Patience. I got enough. No, 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 no. No, no more. But in Jesus' pray. mighty name. Amen. Thank you, my daughters, that Jesus will keep me healthy to get healthier, keep the way out holier, and in love with Jesus, more like Jesus, more patient. And that my daughters, the Lord will protect them and provide for them, bring them to me. But anyway, I'm done. Amen. Amen. And Amina, Amina is here. Amina, welcome, welcome, welcome. Last time we missed you, and seems like we are going to miss you again today. But I and Amina will go live very soon. We will going to talk about uh, Quran and the New Testament. We are Amina. going to talk. Sister, make sure you have blood pressure medicine and make sure you have, what do they call it, uh, Bayer aspirin for any headache or heart problems you have when you're doing a live stream. So be warned, sister. We want, to, <laughs> we want to prolong your life. Okay, anyway, God bless you. May, may, uh, the Lord Jesus bring you to his feet. All right. Amen. Thank you, brother. Take care. God bless you. And thanks, everyone. God bless you all. And Yeshua Akbar Al-Azim. Al-Masihu Akbar. Amen. Right.